Tony Soames is the postman. Despite having worked the same round since 1983, he hasn't managed to post a single letter. Neither has he ever successfully shaken hands with anyone. Tony Soames suffers with a rare debilitating illness, paralaxical appendage disorder. And this week, Truth Prism looks at the untold story of P. A. D. I basically, I feel that my arms are longer than they actually are, if that makes sense to anyone. It's a living hell, it is. Just reaching for jars, shelves, books, tits. It's a nightmare. I lost my first wife through it. It's a nightmare I have to live with every day. It's a daymare. It affects everyday life. There's no known cure for PAD. And that frightens me to be quite honest. I'd are, you, are you the only sufferer? As far as I am aware, I am the only person in the Northern Hemisphere who suffers from PAD. But Tony Soames is wrong. Last June, Sylvester Meeks was released from prison. He served two years for aggravated assault before tests proved he was not guilty, but was instead suffering with the rare spatial reasoning syndrome, paralaxical appendage disorder, type B. I underestimate the length of my arms. So I perceive my arms are shorter than they actually are. I've tried everything. Panty pads. Waste of time. They didn't even absorb the blood, let alone the impact. It's a living nightmare. <laughs> if it hadn't been for God, I wouldn't be able to cope. And I pay him back by helping out at the church. They're very forgiving at the church. They turn the other cheek. I just want to meet someone who knows what it's like. But I guess I never will. But for Sylvester Meeks, his wait is nearly over. In this concluding episode, Truth Prism have organized a blind date. And Sylvester Meeks and Tony Soames prepare for a day that will change their lives forever. I'm, I'm apprehensive. I'm looking good though. I'm looking good and I'm smelling good as well actually. I give myself the once over. I'm nervous, but I'm also excited. I just hope I don't 
disappoint whoever's waiting for me. <coughs> it was a date. I wanted to look my best. I don't usually have a wet shave, but as it was such a special day, I thought I'd give it a try. I don't really notice them till they're gone. It all went wrong on our wedding day. I grabbed the wrong arse. Still, that's all in the past. I've got to look now to the future. And here's the future now, coming up. Good evening, sir. Hello, sir. Um, Tony Solnes. Just this way, sir. Hey, Ossie. Hey, Ossie. Um, Tony Solnes. Uh, Sylvester Meeks. It's me. P-A-D? Type B. Type Type A. Well, that'd be great. At the beginning, <laughs> it was great. We hit it off straight away. We complimented each other. The wine was a perfect example of two people coming together as one. Then it all went a bit wrong. Sylvester, you can get that sausage for me, could you? Hear? Oh, hey! Ah! Sorry! Ah! 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 It's okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I don't sorry. need sorry. any more help. Do you want a wipe? I'm fine. I've got a napkin. I'm fine. I don't need any more help. I'm fine. Leave me. Leave me alone. <coughs> oh. <laughs> sorry. The mood has soured. Sylvester offers brandy with unforeseen consequences. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Let me help. No! Oh! Oh! Craig, he's on fire! He's on fire! I do miss him.